Brandon here from SolarCam. Today we're going to go over replacing an M215 style inverter. First thing you're going to get in the mail is a new inverter, which will might have a slight different look than these old ones, but that's okay. The second thing you'll see is a map with the bad inverter location on it and a serial number and a disconnect tool. As you go out to your array, the first thing you're going to want to do is shut it down. We don't want to work on this live. Secondly, you'll notice there is either a little dome here that flashes red or green. Yours is probably going to flash red like this one here. And then you'll want to look at the serial number. You'll want to match up those four on that, that map that I had given you. So after you've identified it and you know what you're going to be doing, you're going to take this tool and you're going to look for the plug-in on the inverter, on the side of it. You'll see it follows up into what we call a trunk line, which is your AC power. You're going to take this tool and it slides in either this way or this way. Once it's in there, you'll hear a nice pop, clicks in there. You'll work this connector back and forth. It can be a bit of a chore, but it should pop out. Once that's out, you've disconnected the trunk line. The next step is disconnecting the solar panels themselves. So each solar panel has two leads on it, a positive and a negative. This one here plugs into the positive and negative. You cannot mess this up. You'll see on this disconnect tool, there are two different slots we have. And depending on how old your system is, you might need both. If not, you'll just use the one. That slides in there like so. You work that back and forth a bit, and it too just pops out. As far as replacement goes, you'll use this socket, which is a half inch, or you can use your own wrench style, whatever works best for you. You'll loosen that up, slide the old inverter out, put the new one in, and it's plug and play, same way you disconnected it. The most important part to know that it's working, even though it may be, you won't be able to see it until I get the inverter serial number of the new inverter. Once you send that information to me, I can replace it in my system and then you'll have access to see we're working and back to normal.